What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So if you guys didn't know, it's me. Literally just got buffed like yesterday and it's not as good as it was, but it is better. Um, the buff was horrible. So we're going to be placing it against Limitless Shadow. They are both cone AOE units and we're really going to be seeing who's the best. Um, if this was prime, it's me. It might be better, but we're, we're going to find out in this video. We're going to run some tests. So if any of you are new around here, Remember to like and subscribe. Also, join my Discord. Link in bio. Let's get into it. Right, guys. So as per, we are going to be doing the infamous testing map. Game 4, Night 6. We are going to do it on a medium. Now, usually I kind of can guess who's going to win these challenges. Like, last one I did, Phone Guy versus Tarnish versus Purple Guy. And we kind of all knew that Purple Guy was going to win. But this time we're going to try It's Me. So let's try and get all our boosters out. Sorry I don't have the best ones uh, for this video. But It's Me is still a very good character. Problem is, we only get one of them. So, you know. But when this character first came out, he was doing like 20k DPS or something like that. Uh, if you have Shadow on it like um I did. Okay, so he's doing like 3.7k. I mean, this is very close to the original amount like that is actually very close it was doing 4k so you know what that actually isn't that bad anymore that's actually quite a good buff the new the nerf was so bad they completely halved his dps i don't think that's like the best way to go about balancing a character um just completely halving their dps but if this guy is able to solo this map on medium then we'll see what Limitless Shadow has to offer. I think the cooldown booster is really going to help mostly with Limitless Shadow. It doesn't really help much with It's Me. But with Limitless Shadow, he does his damage every 3 seconds. But we'll see. Technically, if we were to place one Limitless Shadow, this would be incredibly unfair. Because one Limitless Shadow actually isn't that good. Um, one It's Me is very good. But one Limitless Shadow is not good. To be honest, if they want to make this uh, character meta again... I think they need to make two placements. I think that'd be the best thing they can do for it. Like, it's very good. But I think, like, personally, I haven't even got a present yet. This isn't actually mine. Um, I've been playing so much FNAF. I must have done at least 120 normal games on 0.75. And I didn't get it. And then I've also done, like, eight endless games on the new buff. And I still haven't got it. So, God knows how you're supposed to get the new Apex unit. That's probably impossible. Unless, um... <laughs> I get given it but it's, it's very hard to get these new units guys they are making it harder and harder and harder it's going to be almost impossible to get maybe maybe the new exclusive units will just cost like ten thousand souls or something right we're on wave 12 and like no problems really we can really see the cone aoe coming into effect here i really wonder who's going to win this I, I don't actually know because this mode might be too easy for them if this mode is too easy, I'm actually going to use the new booster because it does do slowing. I don't want to use phone guy because that does damage, but I think for hell mode, we are going to need a slowing unit. So if we do do that, I'll bring out another booster <laughs> um, just to help us without really altering it too much. Because if you guys don't know, hell mode is very difficult um, with one unit. <laughs> I mean, but look at this guy's damage, 5.6 million. He's doing like, uh, turns out by five, he's doing like 17-ish K damage a second, even more than that, I think like 18 K, which is kind of insane. But this is the real test. Will he be able to take on Nightmare's Gambit? No slowing, nothing like that. Oh, yeah, he's done it, surely. Oh, don't worry guys, he is doing damage. <laughs> he should die soon. There we go, damage just came through. Oh, wait, 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 what's this guy's range? Oh, it's really good, don't worry. We got that Maestro Puppet. Nice. He has soloed Game 4 Night 6 on Medium. Let's see if Limitless Shadow can do the exact same. Alright guys, so exact same map, exact same difficulty. It is kind of crazy that he can solo a hard level. Game 4 Night 6 isn't incredibly hard nowadays because you just get so many, so much cash at the beginning. Right, so let's start with our... We're going to start with one Limitless Shadow there. Let's get him a range booster. Let's get him this... And let's get him that cooldown booster because that really helps him, guys. Okay. Ooh. Oh, no. I pretty sure I placed another one, maybe. This one on this side. Oh, yeah. oh he, is he is struggling a little bit. 
He is actually struggling a little bit. We, we obviously just need some, you know, time to get everything up. What do you mean, Nanji? I have like 600. There we go. Um, that. These guys. There we go. There we go. Just get everyone's cooldowns up and stuff like that. We have elite one life. And I could have maybe upgraded his cooldown booster. Um, I was kind of focused on upgrading him and himself. Because people were saying, oh, why do you target the boosters first? <laughs> that is why, I think. Okay, so they're going to be max level now. Except from this guy over here. Is that endo up? The endo is up. Okay, so they're, they're doing fine. I don't think stuff is dying as quick. Oh, no, they are. They are stuff is getting, like, evaporated, to be fair. You check, do I have everything? Yep. So, with the cooldown booster, if it lets me look. For some reason, with, like... Yeah, look, you have to, like, double tap, like, some random ass place. Okay. So it's doing it every 2.1. If I did have shiny Ballora, that would be like every 1.6. And if I had Vengeance, that'd be every like 1.3. Which does make this a very good unit, by the way, guys. Shiny Ballora is probably one of the most underrated units in the game. Because of how hard it is to get shiny music, man. But, I mean, these guys are doing fine. Except from the one like life we leaked at the beginning. Because, I mean, I could have upgraded a booster or something we're literally doing fine everything is just getting deleted so i guess we'll have to try hell mode with that uh booster unit to be honest the only good thing about the it's me nerf then buff was the fact that he still is twelve thousand five hundred. i mean that is a pretty good price what we saw last game was pretty good he, he soloed the whole level and there's only one of him so if they were to make this unit really good, I'd make him like cost like 20k and the ability to place like two of them. I would make him a top tier unit because bro, it is so hard getting a corrupted present in general. I know my video shows like the best way to get it because that is like the only way to really get it the quickest way. But I think endless is probably the best way. If you guys can do endless five, which I can't personally because it's so difficult. You'd barely get any money to start. Um, you need like eight different phone guys. It's, yeah, it's, I reckon it's impossible. Um, game 5 endless but if you guys do do game 5 endless hell mode it's a 0.75% chance every 10 waves my friend uh, Ishak actually got a corrupted present from endless on wave 90 on endless 4 hell mode so yeah it, it is definitely doable basically if you do 100 waves of endless 4 on hell mode you basically have a 5% chance every time you do it so that's pretty good uh, if you do endless five game mode, uh, game five hell mode, um, you have a seven point five percent chance every hundred waves. So, I mean, it's doable. It's still gonna take you like more than twenty games if you're doing like endless um, four hell mode. Okay, let's see. Nightmare Gambit. That's gonna be very different because it's gonna be sort of taking the damage in chunks. But oh, oh my god, he's taking. He's taking a lot of damage, guys. Wow. Okay, he just got, like, annihilated. Okay, he just got annihilated. All right, guys, we're going to take this absolute dumpster fire of a booster. I mean, bro, what is this? So he's a enemy in range. We're going to be using this um, just because I don't want to use phone guy, but we're going to try hell mode. I'm going to go enchant it. I swear if I get vengeance, I'm going to be very annoyed. Right, so game four, night six, hard. Impossible. Nightmare. It doesn't matter because we're going to do it on hell mode, so it's going to be difficult. But I wonder who's going to come out on top. Now, the good thing about Hell Mode is I can actually like sort of like plan. I can place all my boosters and stuff before. So, you know, I can place this cooldown booster down. I can place this horrific booster down. Let's place him like there. Then I can um, place a double Maestro Puppet, I think would be the best strategy. Yep. Um, so there's this booster here. Um, then I'm probably going to have to get like another one like here. Okay, what else can I upgrade? Oh, I need to put my endo down as well. And I can upgrade him. Then let's select hell mode. Right. Let's see how well we do. I'm going to try and upgrade this guy as quickly as possible. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, 15k. 20k. Okay, okay. He's clearing. He's cleared in the first wave. <laughs> that is definitely for sure. Uh, how many of these? You can only place two of these. What? <laughs> It's so bad. It is so bad. I'm sorry. It is so bad. I know it costs 250, but oh my god. 10% cooldown boost. I mean, maybe comparing, like, combining it with, like, Bone Guy, no, like, Purple Guy Starter, maybe. Then it basically makes 
it like a phone guy. Oh, okay. We're on wave four and they're getting a bit close. Okay, guys, he's struggling a little bit. It's a tiny bit. I mean, but to be honest, the devs are crazy. For completing game five, which is like quite hard for like 90% of the, the player base, and you get this as your present. Is there even a point of having a present? You know what I'd rather them do? I'd rather them give me extra coins. Oh, no. Oh, no, we are leaking a little bit. Oh, no. You know, I reckon this is because you can only place one of them. And like, oh, no, this isn't going very well. This is not going very well. Okay, well, at least we've got that little bit of slow. <laughs> Guys, I think we've lost on wave seven, sadly. Oh, that is a sad, that is a sad loss. But no worries, because we are going to now test out, you know, the man. The Limitless Shadow. The Battle of the Cone AoE units. I don't know how good this guy is going to be able to do. Because the problem is he costs a little bit more. So I'm gonna, that might be I have less, less boosters. And also, I'm going to have to place three of them. So it must be kind of quick. Right. So let's get a double range booster. The reason I do this is so I can get these amazing units. Um, you know, covering the whole map. Then we are definitely... We might have to skip out on the end though, actually. Oh, no, no, we should be fine. Yeah, let's get Endo in there. Okay, now I'm going to have to be incredibly quick. I'm going to try and put them more in central here instead of putting them on, like, the far left side there. So it helps with the beginning wave. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. 6K. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. This isn't looking very well. Uh, very good, I mean. There we go. Then I'm going to upgrade this. Oh, God, this is not looking good for Limitless Shadow, guys. He might not even make it to wave, like, three. What the... Okay, let's get this guy up. Can we get another one down? Yep, we can. Then... It's giving me, like, money, like, not constantly. It's giving me, like... Okay, um, I could have maybe been a bit quicker, but... Guys, I don't think it's going to make it any higher than wave four. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. We're doing a Halloween Saw special video on Thursday, so I hope you will enjoy that. I'm going to be predicting some of the things that might come with the update. Um, as for who's the better unit, I say it's me is. I hope you guys enjoy me doing these comparison videos. I just want to help everyone out, you know, and help everyone sort of decide who's the best starter in the game, who's the best Kone AoE. I'm sure there probably are other better Kone AoEs in the game, but these two are definitely the best you can get just like for free and right now. So thank you all for watching this video. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Goodbye.